Hello McBride, welcome back to another wonderful PE lesson. I am your host today. I am going to be your water ski instructor here for just a moment, okay? I've got my vest on. It's kind of sunny, so I got my shades on, okay? I got my ski rope here, and let's go ahead and hit the water, okay? Two skis or one ski? I'm going to go on one, okay? There we go. Hit it. Yep. I'm up. Foot's in. And let's go skiing. Here we go. Sorry, I crashed. Anyways, let's have a great day of PE today. Thanks for skiing with me. And uh, let's have some fun. Hockey. Get your materials, broom, and water bottle, or something of that nature. All right, see you soon. Well, what do you suppose the beach said to the surfer? Nothing, it just waved. All right, guys, a health tip for you today. Obviously, we've been doing a lot of this over the, the last several months, um, so we're all pretty good at it by now. Uh, but properly washing your hands, okay? Uh, good to do it uh, very, very often, especially um, right now. Uh, but you are uh, using clean water, you are applying soap, you are lathering and scrubbing for uh, 20 seconds minimum, and uh, you are rinsing with clean water and there you go you got clean hands can it help eliminate a lot of uh, different sickness simple colds uh, things like that so keep washing those hands everywhere um, everywhere you can all right guys let's get warmed up today okay don't mind me I'm gonna stay safe keep my jacket on keep my shades on from the Sun and uh, let's get that warm-up going here uh, today let's uh, let's keep going a little bit different let's go uh, Let's go with feet together, okay? And we are going to go side to side hopping. Here we go. Good water ski training. Stop. Very good. All right, this one here, we go one foot in front, one foot in back, and we are going to just switch them back and forth. Ready, go. And stop. Very good. This one, just a little balance. A little balance. Here we go. Let's go left. And let's try to put our right foot up against our knee. And let's hold it. Do your best to not lose it. And switch, right foot, left foot up against the knee. You probably have one that feels a little bit better. For me, it is clearly my left leg down is much better. Gotta get my water ski balance going. All right, very good. Shake those legs out. Reach down to the toes. And that'll do it. Let's 
let's get on to hockey. Guys, get your sweep on, get that room, uh, broom, get that water bottle or whatever object you're going to use. And uh, we're going to do some more complicated uh, navigating today as you uh, dribble with your stick. Okay? Um, using your water bottle, you're going to weave through the cones that I have there, uh, similar to what we did in soccer. Uh, but again, it will really help you learn to control. Uh, that object with your stick, okay? So do it with me here, guys. This one here, sometimes you can get through with just one or two taps. Good job, guys. Hope you had some success doing that. Um, really not too difficult. The, the water bottle works great because um, it doesn't get away from you. Um, like a puck or a ball can really roll and go. Um, but uh, this, uh, this kind of stays right there, so it's great for us beginners to learn uh, how to better control that puck. It's just that simple movement, okay? Going here, going here, going here, okay? Um, so before you know it, You'll be a very uh, capable hockey player. All right, stay tuned for the next video. Okay, guys, this one will get you moving a little bit more. Uh, I got two cones this time set up. Okay, and I'm simply going to shoot towards, or more of a pass, pass, um, and, and kind of act like that other cone is my teammate. I'm going to pass to him. Okay, and then I'm going to uh, jog down. I'm going to get it under control as quick as possible, and then I'm going to send it uh, back and, and try to try to hit this cone here. So I'm just basically trying to hit each cone um, on each end with a with a pass, and I am uh, treating it like uh, like I'm passing to a teammate as I do that. Okay. using my foot to help get it where I want it for the next shot. That's okay to do. Uh, closer. Remember as you hit it, keep that stick fairly low. Oh, just
just miss it. As long as you're close, that's a, that's a very accurate pass. Obviously, you'd be much more accurate if you're using a, a different object. That's okay, we're going to make this work. Let's do two more. Ooh. That was one. And here's number two. Close. And nice. All right. So uh, hopefully you were being fairly accurate there. Getting that good motion down, okay, sending that puck, sending that bottle um, in, the, in the direction you want it to go. All right, hang tight, and we'll get on to uh, the next drill here in a minute. This drill, if you have somebody that's around the house uh, that would like to play with you, you can do some passing back and forth. You each get a broom, whatever object you're using, it works great, okay? And you're just sending it back and forth. <clears throat> As you receive, okay, all you're trying to do is get that uh, broom out in front of the object, okay, to stop it, okay? And then you kind of get it in position to make the pass yourself back, okay? So, uh, if you have somebody else around, great, use them. If not, uh, kind of like with soccer, we can use a, uh, as long as we're using a soft enough object, um, we could use a, a ball, a fence, a shed, or uh, excuse me, a wall, okay? Um, a fence, a shed, and you, you can pass back and forth with yourself, okay? Off that object. Um, for this one, because I'm going alone, I am gonna switch to uh, a ball, okay? So if you have any, any ball, any rounded object, uh, something that bounces off something a little bit easier. The water bottle um, would work fine for uh, if you had somebody to play with, okay? Um, but it won't bounce off of something well enough, okay? So uh, if you do have a ball, you can switch to that, okay? And here we go. I'm going to start uh, passing back and forth. If you don't hit it hard enough, it probably won't want to come back. going to depend too on the kind of ball you're using. The one I'm using kind of appears to want to uh, bounce up after it hits, hits the bleacher. So it's not working quite as good as some of them maybe would. doing a very good job of uh, hitting it straight. I need to hit a little straighter so I don't have to chase it down. There we go, a little better. As you receive it, mine's not coming back fast enough, but hopefully yours is. You just stick that broom out in front and stop it. Whoop. Yeah, 
very important to keeping your eye on the target. Eye comes off the target, much harder to make good contact consistently. doesn't matter to either guys if you have to use a larger ball. Um, that's okay. In fact, if you're doing this out in the grass, um, a larger ball would probably work better. You could probably get it to actually um, move through the grass a little bit better for you. Okay. Um, so anyways, great job with hockey again today. And uh, we will get uh, probably a little bit more hockey underway um, on the next lesson. And then we'll see after that. Uh, if you are have somebody around and you're, and you're passing right now, it's a great time for you to keep doing that. Uh, very fun drill and a good way to uh, learn to control using, using that stick or, or that broom or whatever it is that you're using, okay? Um, so uh, this for the next five minutes, continue doing some hockey uh, related uh, skills. And uh, after that, that will be a day. Okay guys. Thank you very much.
Hey, Big Brad. Decided to hit up the water skiing one more time to end the day. Water's pretty rough. A lot of balancing going on. Hope you guys have a great one. And get the work done. And I'll see you later.